July 25, 1909, 4.35 a.m., Calais, France. Along the quiet coastline, an unfamiliar sound is heard. A sound which is to signal a new era in flight. A sound which will shatter the natural barrier separating country from country, continent from continent. It comes from a monoplane called the Model 11, built and flown by Louis Blériot. The pioneer French aviator has lost 10 of his own models in experimental flights before attempting to cross the English Channel. Nevertheless, today, undismayed, he takes off from Calais. Destination, Dover. Today, he will become the first man to fly the channel in an airplane. He will become a flight immortal. But to Blériot, as he leaves the French coast, the 22 miles of open water loom formidably. Fogs are known to descend quickly and treacherously over the channel. Its winds to be gusty and unpredictable. Also, the aerial navigation of his day is rudimentary. Blériot himself will say later, I merely pointed my plane toward England. After 35 minutes, 30 seconds of superb airmanship, Blériot arrives over the cliffs of Dover. Triumphantly, he cries, Le moment est suprême, and the moment is supreme. For by his flight, Blériot makes a contribution as great as any single man to the development of aviation. His achievement is more than a cross-channel hop. It's the first overseas flight, the first international flight. 